When you focus on the breath, it's good to remember that it's a whole body process. Your entire nervous system, all your muscles, all your blood vessels, they're all involved. Think of the whole body as being primarily breath, and let your awareness spread. It's good to have a center where you're grounded, otherwise it can get kind of spacey and you start floating around. So find a place where it feels good to be centered, and then from there think of the whole body. Be aware of the whole body. The potential for awareness is already there. It's just that you're connecting all the different parts and see if they can all work together. You're creating a state of concentration that is not simply one-pointed. It's all around. It's like having a watchtower where you can look in 360 degrees, because you're not sure which direction the enemy could, could come from, but th could come from any direction, and so you're prepared in all directions. This is the kind of con concentration that can give rise to insight. In the beginning, the insights are simply that when a thought comes, there's going to be some tension, and you want to be able to breathe right through it. The tension in the body will be re related to the thought, and that could be anywhere. You could have tension in your arm around a thought. You could have tension in your leg around the thought. Most of it, of course, has to do with the air around the eyes. So you want to breathe in and out, relaxing the area around the eyes and the forehead. But it is important to remember that the tension of the thought can be related to tension in the body at any spot, which is why you want to maintain this all-around awareness. It's the kind of concentration the Buddha taught. The images he gives are of a man covered head to foot with a white cloth. Or if lotus is drenched with, with cool water, lotus is immersed in water from the roots to the tips, and they're all drenched with the cool water. A spring welling up in a lake and filling the whole lake with its cool, cool waters. That's the kind of state of mind you want to develop. So sometimes you have to work up to it section by section first, but it's important to remember that's where we're headed. Centered but broad. Centered all around. If you want to think of your focus, think of a camera lens that some, somehow could have its focal point inside the lens itself. And then know how to maintain that state as you go through the day. So that whatever comes up, you'll see it in time, whichever direction whichever part of the mind. You'll see it as it comes, because as we open up our awareness to the whole body, we open up our awareness to the whole mind as well. Just remind yourself not to get bowled over by whatever comes up. Try to maintain your center. Think of thoughts coming through, like wind going through a screen on a window. The screen doesn't catch the wind, and the wind doesn't disturb the screen. If you can look at your thoughts that way and maintain your center of awareness, then you'll see the processes a lot more clearly and be able to deal with them in time. This is your foundation, so make sure it's strong. <laughs>